Igbo leaders should forget about Nam the Kanu in detention because he is not living. He must pay for his crime against Nigeria. Adamu Garaba. Adamu Garaba is a APC chieftain. He has urged Igbo leaders who have step up moves to release Mazin Namdi Kano to forget about the IPOB leader. He said because Namdi Kano is not living in detention. So what does it mean by that? So the government they won't buy Namdi Kano. I'll be waiting be their plans. Hey, hey. You know, say that they talk, say fly when not a year watch. Now you they follow body, they enter grief. You understand? I don't know why Northerners are actually carrying this Mazen Namdi Kano's issue for their head. I don't think Mazen Namdi Kano is their problem. And Namdi Kano is not bandit and Boko Haram who have, you know, driven them from their ancestral homes. Okay, not be Mazen Namdi Kano Kosa. Say, may their children not go to school again. I don't think Mazen Namdi Kano is the cause of the poverty in the northern part of this country. Truth being, uh, Truth being told, Nnamdi Kano is also agitating for good governance or what actually really belongs to their people, you understand? So, I don't know what to consign virtual and Babin Salon because we understand, say, virtual, not get ahead. So, Nigerians, as um, Igbo leaders, you know, uh, step up moves to free Mazen Namdi Kano, Adamu Garaba, a, an APC chieftain, okay, uh, have told the Igbo leaders to forget about Mazen Namdi Kano and move on because the federal government of Nigeria is not releasing him. The Igbo leaders, you know, sustained their pressure on the federal government for the release of the embattled leader of the independent peoples of Biafra, Namdi Kano, they visited the Anthony General of the Federation, Latif, San in Abuja. The senators from the Southeast, numbering about 15, led by a former Abia State Deputy Governor, Senator Enin Naya Abaribe, met with the AGF to plead with the President Bola Tinubu for Kano's release. They also submitted a letter to the AGF seeking a political solution to the criminal charges against Namdi Kano. The visit happened 24 hours after the Southeast Governor's Forum at its meeting resolved to approach the president to rethink the, con the continual detention of the IPOP leader. The glamour for political solution to Kano's case has heightened recently with Igbo political and traditional leaders, you know, um, including the Apex Igbo Social Cultural Group organizing the Igbo, pressing the federal government to drop the terrorism charges against the IPOB leader. Kano, who pleaded not guilty to the charges, has been in the custody of the Department of State Service since June 2021, after he was repatriated from Kenya. The Federal High Court in Abuja, on March 19, 2024, rejected the IPOB leader's bill application. However, the trial judge, Justice Binta Inyako, granted an uh, accelerated hearing instead. At the same time, Kano's counsel, Haloe Jumako, stated that his client's health condition was deteriorating, adding that his continued detention by the DSS was a threat to his life, in collaboration with, uh, with, the, with other Igbo leaders, the Imo state governor, Hobo Zodema, and his Abia counterpart, Okeze Hikbazo, has also been involved in the push for Kano's release, citing the need for peace and stability in the Southeast region. Organizing Digbo in a statement uh, uh, taxed all the few, all the five Southeast governors and traditional and religious leaders to work 
as a team to push for Kano's release from custody. Also, the lawmaker representing uh, Akuno Umahia, uh, not Umahia, South Federal Constituency in Abia State, Mr. Obi Agwacha sought the intervention of the former president, Muhammad Buhari, to secure Kanu's freedom. A statement issued on Sunday by Agwacha media team quoted the federal lawmaker as telling Buhari in his Daura country home for the missteps, utterances, and heel gesture of the past, especially on the part of my constituency or my constituents and brother Namdi Kanu, I am deeply sorry. A watcher recently laid 50 members of the House of Representatives down from across the sea's geopolitical zones to sign a letter appealing to Tinubu to direct the AGF to invoke Section 174 1C in bracket of the 1999. Uh, constitution as amended and section 107 of the administration of criminal justice act 2015 in setting the pathway to reaching the desired outcome and with all these that's been going on the, pre the the federal government of nigeria remains mute and this is where he's troubling what exactly do they want to do with mazen namdekano and now the Northerners are rejoicing that the Nam Kano is not released. And he should not be released. That is what they are saying. They, they said Nam Kano is a threat to Nigerian unity. And for that reason, he should not be released. So to you, what's, what's your take on this? Do you think Mazen Nam Kano is the problem of Nigeria? Or do you think if Mazen Nam Kano is released, Nigerian problem will increase? What, what's your take? And what do you think... Uh, Adamu Garaba is actually, you know, trying to do by telling the government of Nigeria that by telling the Igbo leaders to forget Mazen and the Kanu because his own is gone. He said his own is finished. I beg, make me hear from you. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you.